I'll show how to create these 3D donut charts in Tableau. It's just one small tweak from a regular donut chart, but it makes it more fun. I'll start by creating a donut chart by typing 0 into the rows twice. Then under the first mark, I'll change the mark type to a pie, and I'll move measure values under the marks. I want the measure values to determine the angle of the slices of the pie. Then within the measure values, I'll start by typing the count D of the workout IDs. And since this shows progress, I need to have a goal. So I'm going to create a parameter called the workout goal. And I'm going to set the current value to 400. Then within the measure value shelf, I'll type out the workout goal parameter minus the count distinct of the workout IDs. I'll remove all the measures that I didn't just type out. That way we're left with the number of workouts and the number of workouts remaining to reach the workout goal. I'll move measure names in to determine the color of the slices of the pie. And if this was a normal donut chart, I would use the second mark and make this a circle. Then right click on the sum of zeros to make this a dual axis. And adjusting the size of the circle, you can see how we get a donut. But to get a 3D effect to this, I'm going to change the mark type to a shape. And under Shapes, I'll choose More Shapes. And under my Custom Shape Palette, I load it in a circle that has a shadow effect around it. I have another video for how to load shapes, and I'll include the link to this image in the description. After adjusting the size of the shape and the pie, you can see how the gradient shadows give it a 3D effect by creating the illusion of depth. And we don't need these headers, so I'm going to right-click to remove them. Swapping in custom shapes instead of a blank circle is an easy way to level up your pie chart. It makes it feel more modern and polished and adds a touch of personality. Next, I'll use the legend to edit the colors. Right now, the red section represents the portion completed, so I'm going to switch it to a blue color. And the teal part is what's remaining, so I'll change it to a light gray. And just like with a normal donut chart, we can add text to the center even though it's a shape. So within the second marks, I'm going to type the count distinct of the workout IDs, which is the number of workouts, and divide it by the workout goal parameter. This will give me the percent of workouts completed. Then I'll make this a label. I'll right-click format on it so I can change the number formatting to be a percentage with no decimals. Then I'll use label within the mark to format the text itself. I'll edit this so that it's Tableau medium, larger, and a slightly lighter color. Then I'll use the alignment to center this vertically so we can get the text inside the donut chart. I'll also format the worksheet, and under shading, I'll choose none. For the borders, I'll remove the row and column dividers. And for the lines, I'll remove the zero lines. And because these are progress donut charts and will likely go above 100%, I want to account for that scenario. So right now if I change the workout goal to something like 200, you can see it's over the 100%, but the donut chart doesn't reflect that. So I'm going to alter this so that the donut chart is filled once it reaches 100%. I'll adjust the count of the workout ID to be if the count of the workout ID is greater than or equal to the workout goal, then show the workout goal. Else do the count distinct of the workout IDs. So this is basically saying if the workouts go over the goal, we cap it at the goal. If not, we show the actual number of workouts. And that's going to be for the blue portion of the pie chart. For the second formula, I'll edit this to say if the count distinct of the workout IDs is greater to or equal to the workout goal, then output zero, else do the workout goal minus the count distinct of workout IDs. And this one's just saying, if you've already hit the workout goal, show zero. If not, show how many workouts are left to hit the goal. So now when we're over 100%, the entire donut chart is filled in. And if we're under 100%, you can see the donut chart adjusts to represent that percentage. Donuts are a super easy way to track progress. And swapping the circle for a shape gives it a fun 3D effect.